Hey students, let's do the orange October. You're planning to solve the following system by eliminating the x values. Enter the values you would use to make opposites. Okay, so ooh, we have one of those situations where we want to solve by opposites and we have to do a double multiplication because we can't just multiply one of them because uh, three and seven don't have uh, anything in common, at least not right away. And then three and four also don't have anything in common. So we're gonna try to solve with the x values. You can, in my opinion, that probably solve by the y values because one's already negative, but the instructions say eliminating the x values. All right, so the first number that seven and three have in common is a 21, okay? So we have to make opposite 21s. How could we do that? I would take the top one times a negative three. So if you did that, I guess I'll write it out. That would give you a negative 21x. That would give you a positive 12y. And then that would give you a holy potato, 65 times a negative three, help me out, a negative 195. Okay. Again, you just have to do this. I'm just showing you why you would do this. All right, so we made a negative 21, so now we got to make a positive 21, so I would take the bottom times 7. When you do that, you would get a 21x plus a 21y equaling, oh, geez, 7 times a negative 44 is ugh, negative 380. Eight. There we go. All right. Opposite X values achieved because your next move would be to add the left and the right and then you'd have a one-step equation left over. But you don't need to do that. Nope. Don't need to do it. You just need to do this. Now, the question may be, well, what if I wanted to make the bottom one opposite? That's okay too. Another combination that would work could be a positive three and a negative seven. Okay. So you have to make opposites. Um, one thing that also could work, you could also use a three and a seven, but then solve with subtraction. So almost any of these combinations would work to help you set up eliminating uh, X values. But for me, I like to just go ahead and have them be opposite already. So then I can just combine the left and the right. Because sometimes when you're subtracting, especially when you're subtracting negatives, things can get kind of goofy. So try your best to have these ones pair together and try to have uh, these ones pair together because you will set yourself up for much more successes. All right, cool. That's the Orange October.